Hey guys, today we are going to look at graphing systems of inequalities. We're going to answer the question, what are systems of inequalities and how do I graph systems of inequalities? So a system of inequalities is two or more inequalities with the same variables. The solution set to a system of inequalities is all the ordered pairs that make the inequalities in the system true. So that's how we will check it algebraically. We can plug in the x and the y value to both inequalities and make sure that it makes both inequalities true. So to graph a system of inequalities, we're gonna convert each inequality into slope-intercept form. And then we're gonna use a solid or a dashed line and then shade above or below based on the inequality. And then the solution set to a graphed system of inequalities is the intersection or overlap of the shaded regions. All right, let's look at this first one. Both of these inequalities are already in slope intercept form since they have y by itself, so they are ready to graph. I'm gonna graph this first one. y is greater than negative x minus two in blue. So I'm gonna start with that y intercept of negative two, and then the slope is negative one. So I'm gonna go down one, right one. And from the y-intercept, we can also go up one, left one to create that negative one slope. And since we just have a greater than sign, not greater than or equal to, it is going to be a dashed or dotted line through these points. And then it is greater than, so I'm gonna shade above. If you are confused on where is above or below, it helps to look at the y-intercept and think above from there. So it's gonna be this region that I am shading to show the solution set for that first inequality. And the second one is also already in slope intercept form like we talked about. So it is ready to graph. Y is less than or equal to three X plus six. I'm gonna start with my Y intercept at one, two, three, four, five, six. And then my slope is positive three. So I'm gonna go up three right one. And from the Y intercept, I can also go down three left one. And this time I will have a solid line through these points since it was less than or equal to. And I am shading below since it's less than or equal to. So I'm gonna look at the y-intercept and think below that. So it's this region that I'm going to be shading. So now you can see the solution set is that overlapping region where the blue and the pink shaded part meet. So there is my solution set right there. Okay, next question is, is zero one a solution? So I'm going to plot zero one on the graph, that's left or right zero and up one, and it is right there and it is in the overlapping region. So yes, zero one is a solution. We can also verify this algebraically with the inequalities. Zero is our x value and one is our y value. So I'm going to replace x and y in these inequalities and just prove that it makes the inequalities true. So my first inequality was y is greater than x minus two, negative x minus two. So I'm gonna replace y with one. I wanna know if it's greater than negative zero minus two, which would end up being one is greater than negative two, which is true. So we proved it works for the first inequality. Let's prove that it works for the second inequality too. So I'm going to write down the second inequality y is less than or equal to 3x plus 6. I'm going to replace y with 0, less than or equal to 3 times, oops, I did that backwards, y is 1. I'm going to replace y with 1, less than or equal to 3 times x is 0, plus 6. So y is less than or equal to 6 which is, or one is less than or equal to six, which is true. So I just proved algebraically that zero one is a solution because it makes both of the inequalities true. And graphically it's a solution because it is a point in the overlapping region. Okay, let's look at number two. I need to graph these systems. So X is less than four. Let's start with that one. 
that is going to be a vertical line with an x-intercept of negative 4. And it's going to be a dashed line since it's just less than. And then less than means I'm going to shade to the left. Okay, this second line is in standard form. I need to convert it to slope intercept form to be able to graph it. So let's go ahead and do that by subtracting 3x from both sides. And I get 2y is less than or equal to negative 3x minus 2. And then we'll divide by 2. And I'm not dividing by a negative, so I don't need to flip the sign. So it'll stay y is less than or equal to negative 3 halves x minus 1. And now I can go ahead and graph this. The y-intercept is negative 1, and then the slope is negative 3 halves. So I can go down 3, right 2. And from the y-intercept, I can also go up 3, left 2. And this is going to be a solid line since it is less than or equal to. And then I am going to be shaded below since it is less than or equal to. And there you can see the overlapping region that is the solution set to this system. Now it wants us to determine if negative 5, 8 is a solution. So let's go ahead and plot that. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is in the shaded region for the blue inequality, x is less than 4, but it is not in the shaded region for the second inequality. It's not in that overlapping region. So is it a solution? No. Okay, let's look at number three. So neither of these inequalities are in slope intercept form, so I'm gonna to have to convert both of them. Let's start with this first one. I would just subtract x and I get y is less than or equal to negative x minus one. So let's go ahead and graph that. My y-intercept is negative 1, and then the slope is also negative 1. I can also go up 1, left 1. Okay, and this is going to be a solid line since it is less than or equal to. And then again, since it's a less than or equal to, we are going to be shading below this line. Okay, let's graph the second one, but first I have to convert it to slope intercept form. So same as the other one, I'm just going to subtract x from both sides. And I get y is greater than or equal to negative x plus three. So y-intercept at one, two, three, and then the slope is negative one, just like the other inequality. And we have a solid line since it's greater than or equal to. And greater than or equal to means I'm going to shade above this line. Okay, now if you notice, there is no overlapping region. These lines are parallel. There's never going to be a section where the shaded regions will overlap. So this system of inequalities actually has no solution because there are no over ordered pairs that will be in an overlapping region. There are no overlapping regions. Um, if we plot this point, zero, negative four, that is only in the blue region. It's not in the blue and the pink. So is it a solution? No, there's not gonna be any solutions here. Okay, last one. Both of these need to be converted to slope intercept form. Let's start with this one. I'm gonna rewrite it here. 6x plus 4y is greater than 12. 
I would subtract 6x and I get 4y is greater than negative 6x plus 12. And then we're going to divide by 4 and I get y is greater than negative 2 thirds x plus 3. Let's go ahead and graph that. Oh, it's not 2 thirds. It is negative 3 halves. Let's go ahead and graph this. So y-intercept is at 3, and then the slope is negative 3 halves. So we're going to go down 3, right 2. And I can also go up 3 and left 2. Okay, then it is a dotted line since it's just greater than. We don't have the equal to sign. And then it is greater than, so we are shaded above this line. Okay, there's the first inequality. Second one, 3x minus 4y is greater than 8. We need to convert that to slope-intercept form, so we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. And we get negative 4y is greater than negative 3x plus 8. And then we're going to divide by negative 4, and since we're dividing by a negative, we have to make sure that we flip the inequality sign. So this is going to be y is less than 3 fourths x minus 2. Okay, let's go ahead and graph that. We plot the y-intercept, and then the slope is 3 fourths, so we go up 3 over 1, 2, 3, 4. Up 3 over 1, 2, 3, 4. From the y-intercept, I can also go down 3, left 1, 2, 3, 4. Down 3, left 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and then this is a dotted line since it is just less than. And then since it is less than, I will shade below. And there is the solution set, the overlapping region. Last question, is 8, negative 1 a solution? So I'm going to go right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and down 1. And that is in the overlapping region, so yes, that is a solution.